Quranic duas to get Allah's help. Come on, let's memorize this dua. Rabbana faghfir lana dunubana wa kaffir anna sayyatina wa tawaffana ma'al abrar. Oh, our Lord, forgive our sins. Wipe away our bad deeds. And please, let us die as a good person. There are two groups of people in this world. One group who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their one and only God. And another group who doesn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their God. When Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam requested people to accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their only God, some of the people became Muslims. Unfortunately, other people did not become Muslims. They started to give hard time to the Muslims. The bad people even laughed and insulted the Muslims for their belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After moving to Medina, one night, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to Aisha peace be upon her's room. After talking to her, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got ready for some extra prayers for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After finishing his wudu, he started to pray. After some time, suddenly, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started to cry for a very long time. He even laid down, but he could not stop crying. During the Fajr prayer, Bilal, peace be upon him, came to call Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to lead the prayer. When Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with his wet eyes, Bilal, peace be upon him, asked him why he was crying. Then the Prophet told him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent some of the last few sentences of Surah Imran. In those sentences, when the people read the Qur'an, they don't think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. And that made the Prophet really sad. That's why sometimes during the night time, Muhammad wasallam used to see the sky and read the last few sentences of Surah Imran. In the present time, there are also two kinds of groups in this world, the believers and the non-believers. Even today, some non-believers don't like those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But no matter what, we need to have a strong faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, as believers, do we really think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation when we read the Qur'an? And do we really follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's order all the time? No. Sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we don't follow the advice from the Qur'an. Which means that we are making sins all the time. And with sin, we cannot go to heaven. So what should we do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the way in the last part of Surah Imran. In verse 193, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us a beautiful dua. By that dua, we can get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings to remove those mistakes or sins so we can die as a good person. So. Should we memorize this great dua and so we can go to the heaven in our next life? Yes, you want to learn this dua, inshallah. Could you please teach it to us? Mashallah, I will try to teach you this beautiful dua. And I'm pretty sure you can memorize this dua within an hour. Inshallah, as soon as you memorize it, please put your name in the comment section below. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a great life in this world and hereafter. Ameen. Now, before we go, let's repeat this dua together five times. Rabbana faghfir lana. Rabbana faghfir lana. Dunubana. Dunubana. Wa kaffir anna. Wa kaffir anna. Sayyatina. Sayyatina wa tawaffana wa tawaffana ma'al abrar ma'al abrar Rabbana faghfir lana Rabbana faghfir lana dunubana 
ذنوبنا وكفر عنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار مع الأبرار ربنا فاغفر لنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار مع الأبرار ربنا فاغفر لنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار مع الأبرار ربنا فاغفر لنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار مع الأبرار